Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. We've got kind of a weird question here today. Part of it can be answered just straight up from the GED formula sheet. The other part requires a little bit of thought. So let's take a look at the question. It says if you want to find the circumference or distance around a circle, which two of the following formulas will work? And then it says why are there two formulas? So the first question, which two of the following formulas will work? That's easily answered by checking out the GED formula sheet. And if you've never seen the GED formula sheet, you should definitely uh, Google it and print a copy for yourself. You really want to be familiar with that thing. It is going to be a lifesaver as you go to take your test. And the more familiar you are with where things are on there and how things are written, uh, the more likely you are to actually be able to use it when you're taking your test. So if you look at that GED formula sheet, um, the first thing you're going to see on there is an area section, but then under that you see a perimeter section. Under perimeter, so remember, perimeter is the line around the outside of a shape. Um, and for... Um, a circle, the perimeter has a special name. We call that the circumference of a circle. That's the line outside of a circle. And if you look on your formula sheet, it will give you two formulas. It says C equals pi D or C equals 2 pi R. And then some of my students keep writing because there's a little... Um, a semicolon after that with some information about pi, that's not part of the formula. They're just telling you what um, pi is uh, approximately equal to. But those are the two formulas. And um, those two formulas, even though they're written a little strangely, are on the sheet. When um, things are shoved together with no mathematical operands, no math symbol between them, like I don't know what pi and d are doing. Are they adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing? I don't see an operation. Uh, so when two things are shoved together like that, they are multiplying. And so my joke to my students is always like, if you saw two people shoved up real close on a street corner, you would be like, hey, they must be multiplying. Uh, same, same thing in algebra. Okay, so pi next to D means pi times D. And so definitely that's that first formula. And second one is C equals 2 pi R. Again, those three things are just shoved together with no operation in between, meaning the three are multiplying. So B, C is equal to 2 times pi times R. So first part of the question, which two of the following formulas will work, C or D, are two different ways to find the circumference of a circle. Now, the question, why are there two formulas? That's a little trickier to answer, but in order to do it, let's look at the difference between the two formulas. Um, both of them have a pi in them. So pi is not a difference, pi is a similarity. So I'm just gonna kind of cross it off as I look at what's left. Then one formula has a D. D stands for diameter of a circle. And what a diameter is, is it's a line that runs from side to side through the center of a circle, diameter. Now, the other one, uh, B, instead of having a D in it, it has a 2 and an R. That's that's the difference between the two formulas. Again, I'm looking at why they're different, so um, that's why I ignored the pi in both of them. That little, this symbol is pi. That was the same, so I ignored it. But a 2 and an R, well, what does R stand for? R means radius, radius. And what is a radius? A radius is kind of like a diameter, but a radius only goes from the outside of the circle to its center. So for example, that right there is a radius. But it's any one of the lines that goes from the outside of a circle to its center. So that is also a radius. So now you can see by my diagram exactly why one formula has a D in it and one formula has a 2 and an R. Because two radius, two R's, are equal to the diameter. Um, one or just a D. Okay, great. So that's why there's two formulas, uh, because one lets you plug in radius, one lets you plug in diameter, but they are related to each other. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.